Saturday afternoon, the Friars needed four goals to overcome their deficit to Minnesota State. Sunday at the dunk, they needed only one, as the Providence College Friars blanked the Cornell Big Red 4 to nothing to advance to the Frozen Four for the fifth time in program history and the second in the last five years. After coming up just short last season, the moment was extra sweet for the Friars. It's great. I'm, I'm happy for the players. You know, I think the guys have been been waiting to get back to this point all year long. I think there was a lot of ache in uh, in our in our team from uh, losing last year in this game. You know, when when the tournament came, you could see that this is this is what they're playing for our regular season. Um, that's huge. Like these guys can both attest to it as well. I mean, they're right there with us. It was the worst feeling last year, knowing we were 30 seconds away from an overtime and an overtime that we felt good about. But now, like, see what we've done all year and kind of use that as motivation. Um, even guys were talking about between periods, like remember the feeling from last year, it wasn't good and we didn't want that again. And I think everyone really bought in today and it showed. For Scott Conway and Greg Prince, there's work to be done, but going to the Frozen Four is an exciting opportunity. I mean, this is what it's all about. We couldn't do this the first year I was here and we couldn't do this the second year. We made it work this year, and I think it's something special for the seniors. And I think we're going to um, have a good run. These are the things you dream about as a little kid, to make it to the Frozen Four, play college hockey and make it. Um, but we're only halfway there, so we can celebrate for a little bit, but we can't be satisfied. we got to go to Buffalo and keep playing well so we can try to win a national championship. After falling behind early in a few of their previous games, the Friars got the good start that they were looking for. Well, it was a big uh, focus going into the game because we have been trailing a lot recently, and we just knew if we got the first goal, we'd have a good chance to win. So as soon as we scored the first one, it was just a huge lift for the team, and we were uh, able to get comfortable and just play our game. I thought our first two penalty kills to start the game were excellent. You know, that was that was a big boost for us in scoring the first goal. So we're getting there, but you can always improve. And you have to keep improving this time of year if, if you're going to have a chance. Hayden Hockey now leads the country with eight shutouts and could not have asked for a better time for his second in an NCAA tournament game. He spoke glowingly about his teammates. Like there's not a better group of guys. We gel so well together. We trust each other fully. Um, everyone knows what everyone's doing out there, and like we all know our skill sets, and we stick to them. And like the trust is just so key to how successful we've been. Um, without that, and without relying on each other and trusting fully in each other, none of this happens. The Friars will now head to Buffalo, New York, to play in the Frozen Four. They'll play on Thursday, April 11th. That game will be on ESPN2. From the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, Rhode Island, I'm Nick Rojas, Friars.com.